Okay, so how do you see this playing out? Would you say there's more value in bonds over equities right now, given the current macro and market concerns? I, I do. E equities look really fully priced. Uh, valuations look stretched. Earnings growth would really need to re-accelerate to justify those valuations that we're seeing at the moment. And so it's difficult to lean into that too much. On the other hand, we have seen particularly US Treasury bond yields back right up over the last six months or so. And even with um, the possibility that inflation is a bit sticky, we think there's real value there. We, we do think the Fed will keep cutting rates next year. And for us, that suggests leaning into uh, the, that bond part of the uh, portfolio and leaning away from risky assets, particularly equities. Isaac, you take more of a bearish view on the US, which I think we can unpack as well. You say the economy is slowing. I've spoken with other top analysts, money managers over the last 24, 48 hours. They would completely disagree with you. The other thing I also wanted to pick up on is the fact that you're also saying, you know, maybe the market's looking a little expensive right now. Don't the tech earnings that we've just seen justify some of these valuations? I think, I think the tech earnings have been good and, and you're seeing those individual stocks perform quite well, but we are not seeing that broaden out uh, across the rest of the, uh, the stock market. And when you look at what type of earnings are baked in for next year, it's high, 15% or so. It's going to be difficult to achieve that unless the economy does really start to re-accelerate. And there, I mean, I would, I would push back on this view that there's a no landing or a really soft landing. I think the jolts numbers overnight suggest that there is something happening in the labour market. We could start to see that over the next couple of months, and I think that could be a catalyst for a real re-evaluation of the outlook.